all of my Mickey Mouse are cut off. I don't think they're gonna be very happy about that. Hmm, can we arrange that? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new. So in today's video, we are doing something really, really fun and we are doing the Do You Have That Book Challenge. This was kindly suggested by a lovely subscriber here on my top five women's book recommendation. Thank you so much, Terrell Billinger. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing your name correctly. And um, thank you so much for suggesting that video. This is actually one of the videos that even before I had my own challenge, I kind of was wishing I had a ch channel just to do that video. It's a really, really fun concept. Basically, you have a bunch of prompts right here. You have 20 questions and you have to find 20 books that would fit these prompts. I have not looked at these since I have printed them out, which was Tuesday when I went into the office. And we are now Saturday, so I don't really remember anything that it's written on here. And I haven't watched any videos for a very long time. So I'm going in completely blind and I'm also going to time myself. So it's going to be fun. So that's pretty much it. We will move you backwards and I will put you up and we will start this challenge. So I have my phone here and we are going to start the timer. And I will try to find all of these books on my bookshelves right here. I have some books right there. I have some books downstairs. We're going to try not to go there because I'm going to lose so much time going downstairs. So, okay. I'm kind of nervous, seriously. We have the stopwatch right here. I'm kind of nervous. Is this like normal? I don't know why I'm so nervous. So, let's get started. Uh, do you have a book with nickel edges? Yes, I do. Right here. Uh, do you have a book with three or more people on the cover? Oh my god. Um, I feel like Percy Jackson. Probably have three or more people on the cover. Nope. No, not at all. I have so many things. Oh. Okay. I just saw one on the spine. This is two people. Have one right here. Uh, do you have a book based on another fictional story? I do have a bunch of those. I'll do this one. Do you have a book with a title? Of, do you have a book with a title 10 letters long? Oh my god. I do. Right here. Uh, do you have a book with a title that starts and ends with the same letters? Oh my god. Hmm. No, I turn, I turn all, oh, right here, I turn all of the, my books upside down, which was not the best thing to do. Do you have a ma mass, do you have a mass market paperback? I do, I have a bunch right here. Let's go with this one. Um, do you have a book written by an author using a pen name? I do, I do. Right here. Uh, do you have a book with a character's name in the title? I mean, a lot of them. I guess I could do the Percy Jackson one. Is it? Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, do you have a book with two maps in it? I feel like I just had one. Oh my god, I have to go. Holding my like fantasy books. Got it. The black sun had one. The map here. Is it the same map? Wait, is it the same map? It is not. Have one. Okay, do you have a book that had that was turned into a TV show? I do have that. Or that is being turned. Well, that still counts. Okay. Um, do you have a book written by someone who is originally famous for something else? I do, I do, I do. This one. Okay. Do you have a book with a clock on the cover? Oh my god, a clock. Do you even have clocks? No. This no. Clock. 
this has a clock, this, this has a clock. Clock on the cover, seriously. <gasps> uh. You know what? I actually don't think so. Okay, so we will get back at one. So we will get back to that later. Um, do you have a poetry book? I do not. I have one on my Kindle, but I for sure don't have one. Oh, does that count? This is written in verse. It's not poetry, but it's written in verse. Does that count? Maybe half a point for this. Do you have a book with a stamp on it? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, where is it? The book teeth, I think, has a stamp on it. <gasps> Mine does not. <sighs> Seriously? No. Oh my god, I don't. I for sure have one. Does any of my French book have some? I don't, seriously. <gasps> I don't have any, seriously? Does the Hunger Games have a... a no. Maybe. Okay, so that's two that I don't have. Um, do you have a book written by an author with the same initial as you? So LP. I don't think so, actually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't have. I only, I only know one author, other author, that had the same initial as me, so... And I don't have any of her books, so... Okay, do you have... A book of a short story. I actually do. Uh, let's do this one. Um, do you have a book that is between 500 and 510 pages? Oh my god. Okay. Um, I feel like maybe... No. Um, I feel like I just read one that was like... That's not 500 pages. Um, it needs to be bigger. I feel like maybe Morgan Matson has some books that are in that. No. No. Oh my god. Legend. Ooh, maybe. Oh. Seriously. This one? This is a hard question. 530. This is too big. Oh my god. I'm losing so much time right now. Oh. These ones, I feel like these ones are probably shorter, no. Is this one? Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh. This is hard, guys, seriously. This one, maybe I feel like it's a bit bigger. This is too long. This is such a hard question. Seriously guys, how can you find a book? Oh, I think I have one. I do, finally. Okay, um, you have a book that was turned into a movie. I mean, there's a bunch of them that was turned into a movie. Let's do, let's do. Let's do this one. Um, do you have a graphic novel? I do, I do, I do, I do. Let's do this one. And then, do you have a book written by two or more authors? Whew, let's do this one. And... Oh, shoot. It's time. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so it took me 9 minutes and 23 seconds. And I haven't even done all of the prompts here. So I don't know if that's a good time. I feel like it's kind of slow. This was a workout, guys. Whew, okay, I want to find something that has a clock on it now. Do I have nothing with a clock on it? I feel like if you had like any Cassandra Clare books, then it would work. But 
Let me know what, let me know a book with a clock on the cover because I feel like there should be a lot, but I, I don't have any on my bookshelf. Do you guys want to see the crazy mess that the challenge left? Look at my floor. I have so many things on my bookshelf on at all time that this is the mess on my floor now. Okay, so I have cleaned a little bit my bookshelf and we're, we're gonna go over all the questions and see if I have done well or not on this challenge. So the first question was, do you have a book with the cool edges? And I do, I have Revolution by Jennifer Donnelly. I used to love books with the cool edges. I used to think they were so cool and just, I used to love the look of them. But now I have since kind of changed and I'm not loving it anymore. But this is a really good book. This is kind of a historical fiction book mixed with contemporary. We have a dual points of view on this book. It is French Revolution. This was a really good book. I read this a long time ago, um, but I really, really like this book. I'm kind of out of breath now. Okay, next question was, do you have a book with three or more people on the cover? And the book that I chose for that prompt is this one, is Under the Light by Abby Glines. It has, it has five people on the cover, so that's great. The first book was Until Friday Night, which was a really cute YA contemporary read that I have read. I never read this book though, so... <laughs> the third question was, do you have a book based on another fictional story? I just did my um, fairy tale retelling month last month, so I have a bunch of those. But I chose Cruel Beauty by Rosamund Hodge. This is a Beauty and the Beast inspired story. It's a really good book too. It is kind of a dark retelling of Beauty and the Beast. And I really recommend this book, not um, Crimson Bound. Crimson Bound was kind of bad. I really like this one though. Would recommend that one. Okay, so the other one was, do you have a book with a 10 letter, do you have a book with a title 10 letters long? And that was actually pretty easy. I found this one really quick and it is Blood and Honey. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten 10 letters, Blood and Honey. This is the sequel to Serpent and Dove. I really like Serpent and Dove, but I haven't read this one yet. I've heard some mixed feelings about this book. So I'm kind of nervous, but I still want to read this book soon. Okay, so next one was, do you have a book with a title that starts and ends with the same letter? This one I thought was going to be harder, but I found Eve pretty quickly on my shelf. E and E, pretty simple. Um, this is an dystopian book that I have never read. It is about a world where people cannot have children anymore, so they kind of match like teenagers together and they make them have kids, kind of. I heard some great things about this book, I just never read that one yet, so. <clears throat> the next one is, do you have a mass market paperback? And I do, um, I do have some downstairs that are in English, but on my shelf I only have some French one, and this is the one that I chose, which is The Hobbit. In French, most of our books are printed in this type of print, in the mass market paperback version. Um, so I do have a lot of, of them in French, so this is the one that I pick up first. The next one was, do you have a book written by an author using a pen name? And I've seen a few of these videos and no one is choosing Cassandra Clare, but I don't know if you guys knew, but Cassandra Clare is actually a pen name she's using, um, so, but I don't have any of her books on my shelf, so I would have chosen that one, but I don't have any. So the one that I chose is I Am Never Four by the Pictacus Lore, which is obviously a pen name. If you've read this book, then you know he is actually a character from the book, which is kind of a cool concept, I feel like. This was a really good book. I really like the series better than the movie. The movie kind of didn't do this book justice, sadly, but yeah. And then the next question is, do you have a book with a character's name in the title? I choose, I chose Percy Jackson, which is obviously Percy Jackson, and then it is Percy Jackson and the Olympians, and then obviously Percy Jackson is someone in this series. This is a really fun series. I loved this series. I've never read anything else from Rick Ryan. I've, there's a few that I'm interested in, but I mean, these are middle grades, so I'm kind of nervous to read them, but I should. I should read more of him, because I really liked the Percy Jackson series, so. So the next question is, do you have a book with two maps in it? That was a hard one, because I do know a lot of books with one map, but two, it was hard. And I picked up Black Sun, because if you go inside the end paper, this is one map, and I was 
thinking maybe it was the same map in the back, but it is not. It's different. So it counts as two map. So thank you so much, Rebecca Hornhorse, for this book. I haven't read that book yet though, so I can't really tell you anything about that book. So the next one is, do you have a book that was turned into a TV show? And luckily I have Shadow and Bones who is becoming a TV show with the ugly sticker right here. I don't know why they do that, it's kind of annoying. But this is being turned in a TV show and it's coming out pretty soon actually, like next month. So yeah. Next one was, do you have a book written by someone who is originally famous for something else? And I do. I do have quite a few, but I chose Why Not Me by Mindy Cowling. I love the Mindy Project, the TV show, and so um, I have quite a few of her books on my shelf. And I read them all, and they I really liked all of them, and so this is the one that I chose. Oh, next question I failed, and it was, do you have a book with a clock on the cover? I'm sure I have one, but I picked the worst moment to turn over a bunch of my books, as you can see like right there. I turn, I turn over all the books that I have read, so now I don't see all of the, the covers. I'm sure I have one, but I just couldn't find it, so like I said, leave a comment down below telling me what book has a clock on the cover, because I'm pretty sure I have one. Uh, next question was, do you have a poetry book? And I don't have an actual poetry book, I do have some on my Kindles. On my Kindle, uh, but I chose this one. Does this count? Do I have? Do I get half a point for this? Maybe it's written in verse. So, oops. So maybe I don't know if this counts. I think so. I mean, I would, I would count it as poetry. Um. Next one is: Do you have a book with a stamp on it? And apparently, I don't. I for sure thought the book thief had one, but my version doesn't. And. I don't have any, sadly. Next question was, do you have a book written by the author with the same initial as you? I don't. I only have, I only know of one author who has the same initial as me, which is Louise Penny, I think. But I don't have any of her books. And I don't think I have other books with, with an author that have the same initial as me. Uh, next one is, do you have a book of short stories? I chose the delirium, the delirium stories. This is just some luck on me because it is on my unhaul pile. I don't want to unhaul a lot of the short stories, but I still have it on my shelf, so it does count. Okay, the next one was, do you have a book between 500 and 510 pages long? This was the hardest question for me. And finally, I found Thunderhead by Neil Schusterman, which does have... It, oh shoot, did I? No, no, no. It's, does has 503 pages maybe four pages actually right there can you tell can you tell so i have one i thought i would find more but it's kind of hard okay do you have a book that was turned into a movie i have a bunch of them but the one that i chose in the, is the hunger games by Suzanne Collins. Everyone knows about this book. Everyone knows about the movie. These are great. The open books. I loved this book. This series as a whole. It was really, really good. I highly recommend this, this one. Okay, next one is, do you have a graphic novel? Which I do. I don't have a ton of them on my bookshelf, but this is the one that I chose, The Pumpkin Head by Faith Erin Hick and um, Rainbow Vowell. This is a really cute book that I have read for each uh, Halloween. Since I have got this book, since I have gotten this book, it is such a cute book. I love it. And the the art style as well is really cute in this book. I just love it. I love her hair. Like, how cute is she? This is a really cute book. And the last book on this challenge is, do you have a book written by two author or more? And I do. I have Master of One by Jada Jones and Danny Bennett. They're actually a married couple, which is kind of cool. You see them right there. Um, I haven't read this book yet though. This is the Fairy Loot Edition. The pretty Fairy Loot Edition with some red sprayed edges. This is a fae story, I think. That's pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you again, Terrell, for suggesting that video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.